Hello friends, welcome back to All on Unlaw. And today's topic of discussion is El Verado. Sco for appendicitis. Okay, and this is a medical video lecture. So guys, before starting a discussion, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. And if you like the video, please thumb up. Okay, so now let's talk about the symptoms and the score. Remember, depending on the score, we can say whether it's a possibly appendicitis, probably or very probably. Okay, so let's talk about the Alvarado score for appendicitis symptoms. Remember, the first important thing is migratory right iliac fossa pain. First, initially it will be on the near the umbilicus, then it will migrate on the right iliac fossa. That's why it's known as a migratory right iliac fossa pain. And the score is one. Okay. Then we have nausea and vomiting, throwing up one. Okay, anorexia. Score one. Okay, now then we have tenderness in the right iliac fossa. Tenderness in the right iliac fossa. Then the score is one. Sorry, two. Sorry. Okay, and this is a very important sign. Then we have rebound tenderness in the right iliac fossa and the score goes 1. Okay, and if there is a fever or elevated temperature, then we have score 1. Okay, then we have the lab findings like more WBC, leukocytosis, what we call the score is 2. And if there is a shift to the left of neutrophils, okay then we have score one so now let's together if we count it just like one two three four five six seven eight nine and a ten total score is ten okay so if a patient has a score of more than nine means probably he's having very probably we can't call it as appendicitis okay and if it has a score around 7 to 8 probably we can got probable okay and if it has a score of 5 to 6 then we can't call it as a possibly right so remember in this we did not do any ultrasound or cat scan okay this is known as the alvarado score for appendicitis okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.